So with the new Mary Poppins coming out, which should be by the time I release this video, should be, you know, today, um, I decided, you know what, I should draw them. Both, you know, Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins. <laughs> um, I actually got a request to do this a few months back by a person that was going by Mary Poppins. I'm not sure if they're still going by Mary Poppins, but I will take a picture of that comment and hopefully it's still there. But I kind of thought, you know, it being closer, why not do it now? Why not release it now? I really like this drawing. Um, let me first apologize for my, my silhouette of you know, my head in front of the drawing. For some reason, I thought, hey, let's draw this on the floor and mess with this new recording tool thing I got. And it works, obviously. Um, you know those, like, those gooseneck um, camera holders? I got one of those, so I'm still learning how to use it, but uh, I should have take in consideration of, you know, my own shadow. <laughs> uh, sorry guys. But I'm really excited for this movie. Um, at first I was actually really hesitant to like this movie just based off the first trailer I saw. And to be honest, what I was thinking was, oh no, a sequel. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for another sequel because almost every sequel well not every sequel but most sequels that are coming out of Disney especially with live action <coughs> Star Wars isn't turning out the way I hope I feel like it is a let down to some extent but um I still remain hopeful for this one because it's Mary Poppins I love Mary Poppins if you guys have been here long enough you would know that Mary Poppins was actually the very first picture I drew on this channel. And was also the drawing I did for my one year YouTube anniversary. <laughs> so Mary Poppins has kind of, you know, grown near and dear to my heart. But um but anyway, I was very hesitant to like this movie. I wasn't sure if I would be excited for it. But then the next couple trailers came out and as it got closer, I'm like, ooh, okay, now this is a movie I might actually want to see because it's really capturing me. And what really sealed the deal for me, and <laughs> it probably sounds dumb, but the reason what, what really sealed the deal for me was the fact that they used 2D animation just like in the original Mary Poppins. Now, obviously, it's probably not, you know, hand-drawn like Mary Poppins originally was, but it's still 2D animation, and seeing that in a Disney film is kind of rare at this point, which is rather sad, because when I think 2D animation, I think of, you know, original Glen Keane, Little Mermaid, and Pocahontas, and Tom Bancroft, and... You know? Does that make sense? Does anybody else get me? I don't know. <laughs> but I was rather hesitant to like this and then I saw that and it was like, oh, it brought back, you know, that Mary Poppins magic. The reason why I started to fall in love with Mary Poppins in the first place. So I thought what I'd do is that I would put both Mary Poppins, both the old one and the new one, in their fancy dresses that they wear in the 2D magic world and um, and because of the world being a lot more vibrant and colorful compared to London and it seems like it's that way in both movies um, I decided to give a lot of bright colors and a background and all outside colors and to be honest I think this might be the best background I've drawn because I don't do it often. I just don't. I don't know why. I probably should do it more, but I don't. <laughs> and 
I will say I loved drawing these dresses. Like, I wish I owned them. <laughs> Is that weird? Hope not because it's me. I'm a weird old soul, so what have you. I don't know. <laughs> but I will say finding Emily Blunt's dress was rather difficult. For reference, I could only find the top half of the dress. And the, uh, the only other ones I could find were drawn. I was kind of looking for more of like the final piece. And after searching and searching and searching on Google, I finally found it on a mannequin. And thank goodness I did because that was a lifesaver for me because I wanted to really get the detail of the dress and the pattern. You know, I, I, I like, I kind of want to match it as best as I can. And I feel like, I feel like I really, I feel like I did a good job. Let's just be honest. I feel like I did a good job. And I feel like this actually might be the best drawing of Mary Poppins I've ever done. <laughs> Um, I feel like it kind of captures, you know, both old and new Mary Poppins in a, you know, like a, I don't know how to explain it, like a nice magical way, you know, very classy, but fun, you know, does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> but if you guys have seen the movie, or if you guys are going to see the movie, let me know, and if you guys have seen the movie, please don't spoil it for me because I really do want to see this thing, and I, I, I really do, so don't give me spoilers because obviously it's a sequel, and um, uh, I'm excited, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see all of you later. God bless, and of course, goodbye.